Hey guys, it's the Lord Dinosaur back again with another episode of the Archaeologist. Last time we discovered the entrance to an underground city. This place is absolutely astounding. I'm sure there's more to it than this, but we also found this research tent down here. Research Tent 1, 1921. Dang, that was a long time ago. Let's see what's in here. Ah, Jesus, a skeleton! Oh, oh God. Okay, um, I got my sword out. Um, I hope he's not over in the corner waiting for me, okay? Okay, okay, I got this. I got this. I got the... Oh, it's a regular skeleton. For a second, I thought I was staring down the barrel of a gun here. <sighs> no, it's just a dead guy. Just a dead guy. <sighs> oh, thank God. How did you die down here? Oh, I wonder. Uh, not to disrespect him or anything, but it might be a good idea to look through his stuff. Oh, sorry about that. It's been a while since I opened this. One point. 8.1 client. Uh, see, we got some cider, coal, torches, gold, iron, um, a steam engine, a uh, mining well, torch, some armor. Oh, this will come in handy. I'll take that. I'll also take the iron and the gold. Some coal, a torch, um, some relic scraps. I wonder what I can do with that. And some recordings. Hold on, let me listen to these. Alright, recording number one. Today, me and three other camps made our way through the tunnels to the city. We never would have expected such a vast place to have ever existed underground. Our archaeologist believes that this is the first of its kind to ever be discovered. We are possibly looking at the eighth wonder of the world. We began excavation tomorrow. This city is so vast. How has it stayed in such an excellent condition? Ah, so this guy must have been part of the expedition, or so it would seem. Uh, doesn't look like, doesn't look like it's been kept up in a while. The torches are still burning, so probably someone's been here. Who knows when? Let's, let's keep listening, let's keep listening. We never realized how dangerous this place was. There are creepers crawling around every street. If there wasn't enough, our scout was recently shot in the back by a skeleton. Those damn undead. Progress has been at a halt for 48 hours, and we can't get back to... Bill, are you there? Over. Yes, Frank, I'm here. Over. I have some bad news. Elmer's just passed away. She lost too much blood. I know how much you meant to you. I'm sorry. May not find Jesus and rest her soul. Someone died down here with him. So he didn't die alone. Oh, it's too bad. I wonder what killed... It, it, it's so sad to know that these guys had to die down here because of all these skeletons. I... It's such a shame. It's such a shame. Should keep on listening. Thankfully, no one else has died yet, but the onslaught of mobs just keeps coming. We're getting closer to finding the Ender Blade, but it's just so hard to keep working when every day they just keep respawning. God, why did those damn fools send us down here? It's hell. They knew we would die down here. No, no, that's that's just paranoia. This city, it's making me lose my sanity. I keep having nightmares, like I'm in hell, with a man, but he isn't an ordinary man. He looks like, I don't know, it's so hard for me to remember. Every night he tells me his plan, but when I ask him why, he just tells me because it is fated that one day I shall return. What does he mean? For some reason that seems familiar, like it's been happening to me or something. I don't understand why, it just seems that way. Alright, there's only like two more in here. We found a clue. 
a map in one of the unearthed buildings. It says that it's in the large co cobble building. We will find our way there tomorrow. So they have found what they were looking for, huh? That's interesting too. Uh, one last recording. Let's see what happens. It was a trap. The blade wasn't there. Just creepers. I, I think everyone else is dead. I've been wounded badly. If anyone finds this tape, please don't stay here. You'll die. There was one thing though, another map to something called the Beacon of Light. If it's activated, new species that have not lived here before generations will return. Maybe the Ender Blade will be there too. I don't have much more time. If you're still listening, please pray for me. Ah, oh, so that's what happened to him. He died down here after being shot so many times by some skeletons. Ah, oh, it's poor dude, poor dude. I wish I could I wish I could do something about it, but he's He's dead. There's nothing I can do. And he died years upon years ago. This it didn't happen recently. I can't bring a sage down here and recover him. There's no flesh left on his body. Oh man, this I'm sorry, dude. Rest in peace. Alright, so I'm done giving him a proper burial. I didn't know much about him, just that his name was Bill. <sighs> Why did he have to die down here? It's so odd. So I'm guessing I'm not going to find much down here because of the uh, low light levels. Maybe there'll be some place I can climb up eventually. For right now, i got to avoid the mobs. <sighs> okay, I can do this. There's fossils all over the place too, so shouldn't be too hard to get started. Just gotta find a place to dig. Oh, man, if I'd known what would happen down here, I would have. I don't know. Maybe I could have. Uh, I'm sorry. It's ridiculous. I'm. I'm talking about something that happened years upon years ago. There's nothing I could have done about this. This is... <sighs> Whatever. Look at this. I found my first biofossil. Ha <laughs> ha! What an achievement. What an achievement. I can't wait to get this thing refined down into some DNA. That is, if I can uh, accomplish that. <laughs> I'm just pretty loose at the uh, basic process. All I know is that you have to use the machine somehow I don't know it's it's still complicated to me uh, I'm a fast learner though I can I can learn how to do it ah oh, found another biofossil and let's see what this one has jackpot haha <laughs> three biofossils okay so hmm uh, we can see a little bit more up here let's see what happens if we go up just a little bit all right, we're on the cliff face now. I don't see any mobs yet, but I don't know. I guess that's a good thing. Uh, there's some fossils up there. Eh, there's plenty of easier ones to get to than that one, but, you know, it's just something to consider. So can we reach that? Hold on. Uh, we, yeah, we might be able to reach that from here. If something doesn't spawn behind my back and kill me. Let's see, what did I find? I'll have to look at my inventory. See, I found ah, a skull, and I left TMI open yet again. Ooh, I hate when I do that in my Let's Plays. I just hate that. I feel so forgetful sometimes. Whoa. Weird floating water glitch. Weird. Go back down, get those other fossils over there, because that's going to help out a lot. Maybe. Who knows? It's random drop. I hate that. Random drop is random. Okay. There are gonna some fossils. Should get that redstone. That redstone's far away, so I don't think I'll get it, but I might want to in the end. Found some more biofossils. Yeah. And some iron. Yay for the iron. And 
Did I just take my way into another part of the cavern? Yes, I did. Don't see anything up here yet. Is my difficulty even on? Yeah, it's on easy. How to get to easy? Oh well, I'm not going to adjust it just yet. Not really any reason to. I mean, mobs are on. It's not like it'll be anything bad if I keep it on like that, right? Might get a few spam comments down in the comment section, but you know, I can deal with that. I'm a tough guy. I can deal with a little bit of, oh, why'd you have to put it on easy? Ah, uh, frick, water. I can deal with that. I can also deal with a few more fossils being in my inventory. Huh, what do you say, random drop system? What do you think? What do you think? More, uh, more biofossils? Ah, no. Ah, I fell down. Can't see anything. Void nest is covering the entire area. Gotta get back up to where I can see again. I hate void mist. See, I can. Ah! A ladder. Ah, I can see much better now. Oh dear, there appears to be a skeleton over there. Do I have any. No, I don't have a bow and arrow. Mmm! Why do I not have any bows and arrows? Uh, there's a spawner, too. That's odd. A uh, zombie over there. Another zombie. Saw the outline of some other mobs over there. No creepers, but they're not going to be much of a problem with the uh, power that I've recently been given. Okay, let's get down there and get those fossils. Hell yeah! That's what you should be saying. That skeleton sees me, though. I'm screwed. Yeah, I might as well give me some coal, too. Getting me some coal. Coal man. Epic coal time. Down. 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 Epic coal time. No. 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 Epic. Epic coal time. Epic coal time. Coal time. Coal time with iron too. Bounce. Down. 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 Bounce. Uh oh. He's right up above my head. He's above my head. Okay. This could end up badly. But with my iron sword of vanquishing, I can handle it. Have at thee, zombie. And oh no, it's the Enderman. Okay, quick, hide, hide. You know what? Time to stop being a little baby. I am a grown man. I can handle evil entities from beyond the grave. Come and get me, you motherfucker! Ah! Where are you? Oh. Oh, thank God. Thank God this isn't 1.0.0. Come on. I got you, mob. I got you. I can't get out now, which is bad. Yeah, what am I doing? I got blocks. I got blocks. <sighs> you again. Okay, I can handle this. I can handle this. As long as I don't look at him, he won't look at me, and we'll be fine. And I hurt myself. Great. Great. Hurt myself. Again, good thing this is a 1.0.0, because then I'd have to, like, eat something to get some. Hold on. Come on, dig it up. I don't like being in the open like this. Okay. Maybe I could, like, build me a little bit of shelter. Nah, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I hate void mist. It's so hard to see anything. Let's see, what did I get? Got me a... Oh, another skull. They're Enderman skulls, by the way. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I don't know what they belong to. Uh, let's see, what's in this one? Please be something good. Ah, relic scrap. I got plenty of relic scraps from that one guy. I don't need any more relic scraps. Mm. Oh no, zombie. Oh, I gotta kill it. And there's another one. And a pig man. What's a pig man doing down here? Oh no, I got hit. I got hit. I got hit. Oh no. 
kill you. I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna kill all of you. Okay, I don't think I'm supposed to be near here because of the amount of mobs I've been having to deal with. Okay, you mother freaking undead son of a gun. <laughs> okay, let's put some more torches down so that they don't keep spawning around here. Whoa, there you are. I'll get you. See, you can't you can't deal with this sword. This sword's too awesome for you. It's awesome sword. Hmm. Ah, cave sound. Good thing it didn't catch me off guard again. All right, so I'll just put up some walls right here, right here, right here. So now I have a clear line of sight to what's coming at me. See? Stuff can't get to me in here no more. Ta-da! I am a Yinya, says Robaz would say, or however he pronounces his name in Swedish. Uh, epic, epic YouTuber reference. Okay, some more right here. <laughs> There's probably nothing worse than having to watch someone dig up war. I tell you, that's why I don't like putting you through it. All right, well, time to get out of here, I guess. Okay, what do we have? Right here. Okay, it's safe to exit. Bye! Uh, shoot, there's lava everywhere. This place is like a freaking death trap or something. You know, I wonder, who, ha who had the job of building this place? And why underground where stuff would, you know, spawn and kill everyone? Maybe they had some sort of superficial light, uh, super efficient lighting system that kept mobs from spawning. Or maybe... Back when this was built, mobs didn't spawn. Ah, that's just a well, little bit of lore from the world that I live in, but uh, it's said that once upon a time, mobs didn't exist. The world was at peace, and uh, and no one had to deal with uh, going outside during the night and encountering endermen or zombies. The world was more creative. But then... A plague happened. People started dying. Uh, disease went rampant. People blamed it on rats and fleas and all sorts of other things, but I know what did it. I know what happened. Sorcery! Sorcerers started making spells and casting spells on germs and the germs made the people go mad, and then they died, and then they became zombies, you know. And once the zombies got free, once the zombies got free, there was no end to the torture. Endermen started spawning. Oh, the Endermen, they they some bad folk, I tell you. Oh, yeah. My brother Jebediah, he tell me about these Endermen. He say, oh, they come from another dimensional plane. The main, not ruled by man, but ruled by dragon. And, you know, I'm, uh, yeah, I'm insane right now, but still, I was just being a goof butt, you know? <laughs> uh, yeah, but, no. Nah. Besides that, I was just kidding. Besides the last part with the Enderman, no. The plague did come from uh, different insects, and just like the uh, spiders and the cave spiders, yeah, those, those are believed to be the main cause of there being any plague. Uh, except they weren't quite as big as they are today. Uh, historically, they used to be half the size they are, which is still pretty big when you can th when you think about it. Uh, and once people died, their bodies just became reanimated. So once that happened, there was no saving them. They lost all memory of who they used to be, who they loved, who they hated, and they just gave up on life. Because they weren't alive anymore. They were controlled by something else. The disease that was inside of them. And it's really sad, I know, but... What can you do? It's... Not like you can go back in time create some sort of cure for these zombies. 
You know, it said that over 95% of the world's population was killed out because of the plague. Yeah, I know. 95%. That's almost as bad as the Permian extinction, which if you don't ne uh, know about, you should probably look it up on Google. Permian extinction happened millions upon millions of years ago, where all the block creatures, the first evolutionary, uh, evolutionary creatures were killed out because of changes inside of the earth. Uh oh, he's back! He's back! Oh no, he's back with vengeance! There you are, you son of a gun! Oh, you're dead anyway, so I would just have to avoid you for a little bit. <laughs> Where did you come from? Ah, oh, for a second I thought, oh, I thought I was gonna die there. It's a friendly creeper. It's a friendly creeper. Hey there, friendly creeper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't really understand what you're trying to say to me, so I, I can't make out. Ah, uh, whatever. I'm sure it's nothing too bad. You know what they need? They need, uh, I need to get me a creeper that can be my companion. Yeah, 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 that'd be so creep, uh, that, uh, well, it'd be creepy, but it'd also be cool, creepy cool. Be like, Lord Dino and the Creeper Machine, come and save the day! Oh yeah, Lord Dino and the Creeper Machine. Coming to save the day. Coming to save the day. Creeper Machine, explode! <laughs> Creeper expl Machine explodes. Blood everywhere. And zombies dying. Yay! I bet there's a spawner around here. That's why there's so many zombies. It looks like I know why those guys died down here. There's too many undead. And there's another creeper. Another creeper. Another creeper. Another, another creeper. Another creeper. Why can't I place it down? Oh, it's probably a half block or something. Here, let me destroy it. Or maybe not. Jerk. Pigman zombie down there. What? Why is there pigman zombies down here? I mean, seriously. Of all the things. Hmm. I'm starting to fit some pieces of this puzzle together. Okay. So. Once upon a time, there's a civilization that lived down here. Civilization got into some weird magic. Opened a nether portal. Disease spread. People became pigs. Pigs died. Pigs became zombies. Zombie pigmen ruled the earth. Or something like that. I don't know. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes total sense. Ow! Oh, that hurt. Why did I have to fall off a cliff? Okay. We're good. No pigmen. Brother pig. Brother pig. Howdy. Howdy. Ooh, just don't... Those just don't scare them, and they won't get scared at you. Oh, the creeper machine died and left me some gunpowder. Or maybe it wasn't the creeper machine. Maybe. Nah, nah, I couldn't have been that other person, could it? You never know. I haven't exhausted this place yet, but I don't feel like going in deeper. Hmm. Well, maybe in another episode, you know? And Nautiluses? Seriously? Down here? What the hey hey? That's ridiculous. Or something. After this, I guess I'll end the episode and continue it tomorrow. Uh, where we finally go and try and build up a dinosaur or something. But, you know, we actually do have to go after the Ender Blade. And we need to find the beacon of life. That's going to be a... Adventure! I'm on fire! I don't have no water! I'm all going to die! Blurry again. Oh, mm, I must be here again.
I'm back in the tunnel. I guess this is where my journey left off. Can't get out. What's that? What's that sound? A portal. Haha! <laughs> Maybe I can finally get out of here. I I wonder. Oh boy. Let's see this portal. Here. 